Hi, my name is Anna and I am a teaching artist with the New Victory Theatre. We are right now in Brooklyn in my apartment where I live with my two cats, my plants and my partner Nate who is behind the camera. Today I want to share a fun game with you that you can play with your family and be able to write fun stories or play that are out of the box. All you will need is paper, a pen or pencil, and maybe scissors. So, oh, and three containers. The basic elements to a good story are four. We need to start with characters. We also need a setting or a place where the story will develop. And we need a plot or a challenge or a conflict that these characters are going to face. And the fourth thing is an ending or a resolution. But you are going to write that yourselves. The game consists in writing lists of interesting character settings or plots. All your family can come up with interesting elements and you can take them from the containers or the boxes and create your stories that way. Some examples that Nate and I came up with are for characters we came up with, for with a friendly witch, a grumpy clown, a very smart detective, a dragon with a toothache, which I think is very fun. And for settings we have in a tower of a castle made of chocolate, a magic forest under your bed and for plots we have chased by robot bees has important information but nobody believes them or accidentally sent to the past by a time machine so we can pick and choose from each box. I want to have two characters and my characters today would be a grumpy clown and a friendly witch. I really didn't like this that much, so I'm gonna choose another one. A very smart detective. Now I can pick a rickety rope bridge and the problem is that they are chased by robot bees. So a challenge could be that you can set a timer, maybe five or six, seven minutes, and everyone will write their own story. Even when you have the same elements, everyone's creativity can come up with many different ideas. And at the end, you can share your stories with each other and see what you came up with. Another challenge is that if you want to make it a play, then you have to write a dialogue. Welcome to the stage reading of my play. Next Tuesday, in a place not too far from here, Jumbo the Clown and his robot bees were in the kind of dangerous scenario that they were already too used to. Come on, robot bees! Or we won't be able to see another day. Bzzz. What? Are you saying you can fly and this is not really your problem? No! Who's going to help me now? Aha! Uh -huh. Jump on the clown! You thought I would never find you and your robot bees. You and your robot bees causing all of this trouble. Well, here I am. I found you. And now I'm going to stop you. Ha, ha, ha. Oh no. Carmen San Diego, you think you're super smart and then you found me when in fact I found Feed you all the clues to get here to be chased by my rabbit bees. Rabbit bees attack! Bzzz. Ah! Oh no! What will Carmen San Diego do next? Will she be able to escape the rabbit bees and capture and capture 
the grumpiest clown jumbo? Find out when you tune in next time. I hope you have a lot of fun playing this game with your family and that you share with us the fun stories that you created. Bye!